in just a few hours, I'm going to be going to the airport to catch a flight to Florida. And then in two more days, we will be setting sail on the Enchanted Princess for a seven to night Caribbean cruise. So I thought I would do a little pack with me video for you today, show you a few things that are in my toiletry bag, makeup bag, and then also the jewelry that I'll be taking along with me. And then I'm going to kind of show you some of the bags, shoes, and clothing items that I'm going to be taking. But then also stay tuned because I always like to do a what I wore video when I'm traveling. So stay tuned for that. I will have the complete outfit looks, daytime and dinner wear as well. So make sure you're subscribed so that you can check that video out as well. And then I will also be sharing with you all of the excursions and a little bit of information about every port that we will be visiting as well. And probably maybe a room tour of the mini suite that we have on board the Enchanted Princess. Today, I just wanted to share with you some of the things that I will be packing. So let's go ahead and get started with this pack with me video for a seven night Caribbean cruise. Packing for a warm weather cruise is so different than packing for an Alaska or a Canada and New England cruise, which is what three of the last four cruises that I've been on have been. So I kind of like to get all of my clothes together, put them on this rack so I can kind of see outfit by outfit. I don't know how you pack, but I like to pack as far as outfit and know what I'm doing for that particular day and plan for that instead of just grabbing a bunch of tops and bottoms that would match each other. I'm actually planning for the activities and things that we're gonna do. So I like to just kind of put everything up here and see what I've got and then I can lay my shoes out in front of it. So the first outfit is the travel outfit. So this is actually what I'm gonna be changing into to go on the flight. It's like a two hour and 10 minute flight, so it's not a long flight, but I do like to be comfortable. So I've got this outfit that is from Amazon. It's one of those that's very similar to the Spanx Air Essentials. So these are really good to travel with. And then I will have this white jacket in my carry-on in case it does get a little bit cool in the airport or on the plane. And then this will also be something that I will use like double duty as far as like if we're out at the movies under the stars and it gets a little bit cool, I'll have that or in the dining rooms. This is a little bit more casual though. And this is just like a zip up lightweight hoodie that has some pockets and things and it's like a three quarter sleeve so it's gonna be nice and cool but still give me that warmth that i might need in the air conditioning inside the ship and on the plane so that's what i've got for travel day and then we're actually traveling down on thursday so we'll have all day friday in fort lauderdale so i planned for hot weather there so i've just got a white tee and then i'm going to pair it with these really pretty blue colored shorts. And that's what I'll be wearing out and about in Florida on Friday, the day before we embark. And then if it gets a little bit cool during the night and we're going out to dinner or something, I've just got these blue and gray pants, really nice and moisture wicking that I can put on with this white top so I can interchange the shorts and put these pants on with the white top. And then if it gets a little bit cool and I need a layering piece, then I've got a denim jacket to put over that. So I kind of have two layering pieces to take along on the ship. Uh, a denim jacket's gonna go with anything that I do have, so that's nice. I'm not really taking anything like a dressy layering piece for the dining room, so even though I'll be dressing up each night for the dining room. So then the shoes that I'll be wearing in the airport, and if I am wearing some like shorts, and more casual things are gonna be these sneakers. These are in a great neutral gray color, so they're gonna go with everything. So I had a plan. I was gonna go every day on my outfits and then kind of just show you everything, but then I thought it might be easier to kind of just show you the shoes and then tell you the outfits after that. So then I'm also gonna be bringing these flip-flops. They are so comfortable, you guys. So these, again, are in a nude color, so we're gonna go with everything. And then for the days when we're going to port and we're doing the beach at the port as well, those are two of the four ports we're gonna be doing beach days. Then um, I wanted to bring these, and these are also good for up at the pool deck. And then the dressy shoe option are gonna be these because they're in the silver color and they do have a little bit of a heel. So these are gonna go with anything because they're a great neutral. They're that metallic looking neutral. So they're gonna go with the jumpsuits and the dresses that I have for the dining room options. And then for embarkation, I am probably gonna be wearing this outfit. So this is just a really cute coral top. And then this is a skort that is from Spanx. So I just think that this will be a really cute look. And then if I do have my luggage before we go to the dining room, I have this really cute jumpsuit from Old Navy that I'm really excited to wear. If I don't wear it the first night, I'll probably wear it one of the other nights because I think it's really cute. It's got this deep V in the front and in the back with this tie. And then for the day at sea when we're out and about 
if I'm not wearing the swimsuit up on the pool deck, I thought I would just wear this. This is from Halar. It's a really cute tennis dress, but it's got that material that's like a bathing suit. So if I did want to hang around the pool deck, but not get in the water with the kids and stuff, this is really cute. It keeps me covered and I could I actually just go from there to the buffet. But then if I decided I did want to wear some kind of outfit, like out around the ship that day instead of the dress, I do have this option and or I could interchange this with one of the port days where we don't actually have a beach. I've got this really cute top in this purple color and then some black shorts. Of course, the black shorts can interchange with anything that I've got. I actually put and plan my days per outfit, but if I wanna change out the shirts and things, I can do that. And then that night is going to be formal night. And I thought I would wear this for formal night. It is a shorter style dress. Love the color of this and this lace detail is so pretty on the front. My mom actually picked this up before cruise. She's coming on the cruise along with this. And she picked this up right before, and I thought this would be perfect for one of the formal nights. Then for the first port day, we are going to be actually going to a beach area and doing some snorkeling. So I thought I would just wear this sundress off the ship and just have my swimsuit on underneath that. Or I have this option if I decided that I did want to wear my bathing suit under like a short set. I got this cute little top and these time and true shorts from Walmart. These are under $17. And I thought this is such a pretty color for the tropical vacation. And then for dinner that night, I'm going to wear this dress. I think this is so cute. And then I wanna show you two of the cover-ups that I'll be taking. So this one is really cute. I picked this up this year. It's in a fun color, but there's a lot of colors because this comes from Amazon, but I love how it cinches and it really accentuates your figure. It can really draw it in and make it a little bit more flattering. And then I have this one, which is a full zip up. It has a hood on it, pockets and things like that. So I thought that this is a possibility if I want to just go off the ship with this, I can do that. And I have a total of three bathing suits that I'll be bringing or swimsuits and then two cover-ups. So you saw the first swimsuit. I love this one, you guys. I've had it for years, and I love that purple color. And then these are two that I picked up this year that are new, and it's this one right here. I love that ruffle sleeve because i got that little fat pocket under my arm, so this kind of disguises that, which is really nice. And then the other swimsuit is going to be this one, kind of the same way, but it's got a cute little feature in the back that it zigzags and laces. So this one I actually showed you in my swimsuit video this year. So Love these two new ones, and this one actually I just picked up. I love the vibrant color of that one, but I love these ruffle sleeves. They're so cute. And moving right along, I've got just this black tee with another pair of shorts for just a casual look for dinner that night. I just picked this up from Loft, you guys, and this is so cute. It's in a linen, and it's pretty red color, but this also comes in a navy color, but I thought this would be really cute. So after I show you all the clothes, I'm actually not going to pack them in the suitcase for you to actually see how I pack the suitcase because I actually have to steam this stuff and I like to let it dry a little bit before I actually start folding it and rolling it and put them in my packing cubes. So all this stuff's gonna be steamed beforehand since you can't have a steamer on the cruise ship. And then the next outfit is gonna be this. These are so good. You can get these from Walmart for like under $10. And they're good to put over your swimsuits. And then for dinner that night, I love this jumpsuit. You guys, I cannot wait to wear it. I haven't gotten to wear it yet. And then I just have an additional dress for the dining room because you know, the later you get in the cruise, the more weight you do gain during the cruise. So this one's a little bit loose and it's more of a maxi style. So in case I can't wear some of the other ones that I had planned, then this one is gonna be an option for if I have a little bit of weight gain and I'm not gonna be fitting into any of the other ones. So I wanted to have my options just in case. And then this is another one of those dresses, those Halara dresses for up in the pool deck for another one of the sea days. So we have two sea days and I have this one and then the red one. And then for the second formal night, this is what I plan to wear. I have a black one exactly like this that I wore at my last cruise for formal night. So I just thought I would take the navy as a little bit of a change. And then I have a few more like bonus outfits that I don't actually have planned for a specific day, but they're gonna be a bonus. So I've got these linen pants and yes, I do need to steam them before we go. And this just black top to go with those. And I wanted another casual option. Just This is another just classic white tank with another pair of these really cute utility style shorts. So those are all of the outfits that I'm gonna take. So now I'm gonna show you the pajamas. I'm taking two pair of pajamas, but one pair I wanna show you because I think it's such a cute theme for a cruise. Okay, so these are the pajamas that I'm gonna be taking and they're just from Walmart. I love Walmart's pajamas. So these are just a, I don't know if these, I can't remember if these are cropped or not, but just a pair of pants. And it gets a little cool for me. Everybody likes it a little bit cooler than me, so I don't like to really wear shorts as pajamas. And then this is a tank style. It's got a little bit of stitching. So this is one pair of pajamas that I'll be taking. But the ones that I was so excited to share with you guys 
are these. I picked these up from Walmart too, but look at this. It's got a nautical look. You can see it's got a sailboat, an island, a compass, an anchor, so very nautical looking. So I thought these are just perfect for the cruise, just having that nautical vibe in your pajamas. So now I'm gonna show you the bags that I'll be taking with me. So I have a packable backpack. I always like to take a packable backpack. These are gonna be on the days that we're at port and I don't have a beach excursion planned, then I'm going to be using this backpack. Then this is the beach tote that I'll be taking with me whenever we're going to the beach excursions at port and probably up to the pool deck as well. I like it because it has all these holes in it. So in the sand and everything, I can just shake it all out and get everything out of that. But I'll have some pouches to pack within this so everything can't be seen. And then I have a little insulated, I think it's from 31. It's a little insulated pouch that I like to keep the sunscreen and the lip balm with the SPF and stuff in it so it doesn't melt or anything like that. And I have two casual bags. So this is the belt bag that I will be taking at the airport. I like to carry it around at the airport just to have my phone and things with me. And then I like to pack what I wanna have access to like my AirPods and things like that that I wanna have access to in the plane. I will pack it in here. And you know, sometimes you can go through and the gate agent won't say anything to you depending on your airline. This is the other casual bag that I'll be taking with me as well. It's that straw bag and I just picked this up so I haven't used it yet, but I liked it because I could use it as a shoulder bag. So one day if I wanna go to dinner with this one instead of the dressier option that I have, then I can use it that way. It is removable and then you also have the option to have this guitar strap and do it cross body. So I really like the option of that. And then, you know, a straw tote is just quintessential summer. So I thought this was really cute. And I still have to decide which more dressier, bag that I'm gonna be carrying for dinner. So I've got this Chanel inspired, it's definitely not Chanel, but it looks like one. So it's very elegant looking. I love how it looks. So I could use this one for the dining room with my jumpsuits and my dresses, or I have this clutch, which I have carried before. I've carried both of these on the cruises. I don't know, you guys, I can't decide which one I wanna take. This will pack a lot easier because it's so flat. It's this fold over clutch. And I won't need too many things with me, so I may just take this one, but gosh, I love the look of this one. So I don't know, this one's a really good one too, but it does take up a little bit more room in the suitcase. It may come down to how much room I have after I've packed everything else, which one of these I'm gonna take. Let's go ahead and get into the toiletry items and everything. And I have those laid out on my island in the kitchen. I kind of just like to clear off the island and lay everything out so I can kind of see what jewelry I have and then all the makeup to make sure that I don't miss anything because on my last cruise, I missed a whole eye palette. So I didn't have any eyeshadows. So I ended up using my blush as a double duty and putting it on my eyes. And then my eyes got so watery and itchy. That was not a good idea. So I like to lay it out to make sure that I have everything toiletry wise as well. And I first want to start with my brushes and I love this case that I got for these. You can open it up and all of the brushes are gonna fit down here on these little loops. And then you can put like a beauty blender, things like that down here as well. So it'll sit right up on the counter and you can see everything there and then you can even fold this down as well. So I'm gonna start off with the beauty blender. And then I have my foundation brush that I'm gonna slide in here. And it's even tall enough for some of the taller brushes because this is probably one of the taller brushes that I do have for the foundation and it fits with plenty of room above it. And then I have my blush brush, highlighter brush, then I have my bronzer brush and a spoolie for my eyebrows, blender brush for the eyes, and then just an all over the liner brush, and then for the crease as well. So those are all of my brushes that I'll be taking with me. And then the beauty blender is down there at the bottom. So next I wanna go ahead and move on to the makeup. And this is the bag that I'm choosing to use to hold all of my makeup. I love that it has this little handle at the top and then it opens completely flat with this little area in the middle for any of your things that needs to be wiped. And it's got these little mesh cargos. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is the primer and I'm gonna put that in there along with my CC cream and then some concealer, my highlighter palette. And then I wanted to put a little mirror in here as well. Bronzer. Blush. And of course I have to have my falsies. And I could not tell which was the better glue, so I'm just taking all of the glue and the tweezers to put them on with. And then I decided on two different eye palettes to just create a warm look and then a cool look. 
So this one has your pinks and your grays, so really pretty. You can do more of that cool tone look. And this one's great, because these are like $4, and then you can create a whole eye look with this, and this is more of your warm, neutral tone. Then I have a water resistance eyeliner, and then also a water resistant mascara, and then a brow setter, and the NYX lip liner. And it's in like a pink nude, so it's gonna go really good with your nude and pink undertone looks. And then my favorite Dance Floor Princess lipstick. Two of the Lifter glosses because this one, as you can see, is almost empty. And then this is a new one that I just picked up. It looks like it has a little bit of sparkle in it, so I wanted to try that one out. It is in the shade Moon. And then two more lip products. This one is the Lip Maximizer. And this is the Buxom in Hot Toddy. So that is all of the makeup that I'll be taking with me. Now let's just go ahead and move on to toiletries. And this is the bag that I love to take on cruises because it has the hanger so you can hang it up and it's got lots of room in here. It just keeps going. There's lots of space and I've already unzipped everything and let's get it packed. I love bringing these compressed towels with me because they start off very small and then they form into not one of the washcloths that you could think of, but more of a disposable makeup remover wipe. So I'd love to bring these with me. So I do have 14 of them, and I know we're just gonna be gone for nine days, but I want to make sure that I have extra in case I need it for anything. And then I also like to bring these along. They are sponges, and it's really neat how they work. So they start off this thin. See how thin those are? And then after you put water on them, they go to a regular sponge. And then I have the Clinique Take the Day Off. I do like to start with the cleansing balm. And also I love this to take off any hard makeup because it does say that it is waterproof. So this is really good for that. And then cleanser. Eye cream. And then a, a night serum. Moisturizer. And then I also love to have some masks on hand as well. So I do have an eye mask and then a hand mask. I liked this one to take with me since we are going into warmer climates and we'll be out in the sun a lot. This one's an aloe vera mask, so I thought that would be really soothing after out in the sun. And then a foot mask as well. And I'm gonna put all these down in this zipper part right here. And then of course we can't forget wipes. So I do have some feminine wipes. And then I also like to have these deodorant wipes with me. And then of course toothpaste and toothbrush. And I love this brush. It's an electric brush. And then it has its own little carrying case. So nice. You don't have to worry about charging it or anything like that. And it's very affordable. Along with some floss as well. Also have a lip sleeping mask, some deodorant, shave cream, small razor, shaving stick because out in the sun, you never know. And then just for extra hydration, some cocoa butter. And then I also like to have something on hand for my contacts and then a case for them. Even though I do wear dailies, I like to have that just in case. And then my contacts actually go in my carry-on bag so that I don't have to worry about it, them being lost. That's going to be it for the toiletry bag. Let's go ahead and move on to some hair products now. So I do have the Beach Waver. And then I have the Hair Perfector. It's a 10-in-1, so it's like a detangler. And then some dry shampoo. And then a scalp sunscreen. And I know they have it on the ship, but shampoo and conditioner. And then also this quick blowout because I'll be curling my hair quite a bit and then it will be so frizzy with all the humidity. So I wanted to bring that along as well with two hair clips and then the brush. Next up is gonna be sunscreen. And so I have a few of them in here. I've got this cool down by Sunbum, also an SPF to 30, along with some SPF lip balms as well. And then also the glow screen in case I don't want to wear any makeup that day. And then the setting spray that also has sunscreen from e.l.f. along with another sunscreen from e.l.f. 
And then I have a little bit of jewelry that will be going in this bag. This is really neat because it has lots of room for your necklaces, places for your bracelet, and then you can put the earrings right here and then some rings here and some additional stuff here and some pockets here. So I just have a variety of things. I have some pearl beaded bracelets, some stack bracelets, also this magnetic bracelet and then this mixed material one that's so designer inspired. And then this for formal night from Kendra Scott. And then this is a charm bracelet that I picked up from my last cruise. Every day you got a new charm on this one. So I thought I, it would be fun to bring that along for this one. A couple of rings, a, a gold bracelet, and then a couple more gold things to add along with the pearl. Kind of mix it up. And then some everyday gold hoops, dressier hoops, and then some hearts earrings and then one silver necklace and then I've got these three and this one's so cute because it's got the little anchor so I will be wearing that for embarkation because I think that is so cute and then I just love this little shell necklace I thought it was very beach inspired and then also love this thought it was very summer like so that is all the jewelry that I'll be packing up and then I'll have these three sunglasses that I'll be packing in my carry-on and then here's how it looks all packed up so I did Put all four necklaces over here and then some bracelets in this part. Some more bracelets down here along with the rings. And then instead of putting the earrings in here, I just dropped the earrings in these two pouches right here. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I hope this was informative if you are trying to decide what to pack for your upcoming cruise. But again, make sure to stay tuned for the daily outfit looks for day and night and also all of the port excursions. I'm gonna give you all that information and probably give maybe a tour of the room as well, just so you can kind of see what it looks like. So I'd love to have you hit that subscribe button and I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful day.